Hi, welcome back to Fabric Made Systems Tips and Techniques, where we teach you how to put fabric on the wall and ceiling. Today's segment, we're going to be tagging off of one of the other ones, which was top load two inch. This is the max line. So you're going to see a little demonstration here in front of you. Right here, what we're doing is this is called soft tacking. This is a pin nail gun. Might be able to use a staple gun as well if you have it, but this is a regular finished nailer. This just allows you to soft set the product onto the drywall here, making it a little easier to go ahead and set the pocket hole screws. It's not necessary. We've just found it to be a little bit more helpful. If you don't have this, uh, don't worry. You can just go ahead and use the uh, drill and go ahead and drill the uh, screws right into the pre-drilled pocket holes. So again, this is a segment on the two inch max line, double side load, meaning you can install the fabric from the side and the top. You can use the same or different colors for effect. Here you're gonna see with a regular drill and a Phillips head, how easy and fast the uh, drywall screws. These are actually a coarse screw provided with the product as well. So every five foot length has about eight pocket holes already pre-drilled in it with the appropriate coarse screws to make it fast and easy on drywall. Here the screws were already just set in to make it a little faster. So you can go ahead and preset those in yourself by hand. Get it on your chalk line or your pencil line, making sure it's level and square. And again, fast and easy, you're gonna be using the drill with a Phillips head. We will show you when we're done here, we'll show you another attachment method, which is going with three inch screws right through the top. This is a soft composite material here, PVC material for the expander, so it uh, will accept that screw right in through the drywall fairly easy. So again, you're seeing, what you're seeing here is a gap. He's gonna use a little piece, this is a piece of, uh, you can use either a piece of Formica, this is a piece of uh, vertical blind, something that's about 16 of an inch thick. And you'll see in a moment what this gap is for, it's important here. You wanna leave a little space here for tucking your fabric in. So there you have it, all four sides up of the max line double side load. Here what you're going to see is again the three inch screws going right through the face. So if you don't have the pocket hole screws or you don't for some reason have the pocket holes, you can just go right through the front here. This is also a preferred method, nice soft material here, three inch drywall screws, giving it a nice snug fit right up to the drywall there. Here you can see the Recore two inch acoustical sound deadening product getting installed in there. Again, very fast and easy. No need to use adhesives on here. You can take the same three inch screws and go ahead and uh, set a pattern on there. Here for this small panel, he's gonna probably put one in each corner one in the middle to hold it. So imagine on a four by eight panel, you've got one in each corner and maybe one in the middle there. Making sure that the insulation material does not sit proud, sit proud there of the frame. Or you will see that through the fabric. So once he gets these all in, then we'll be ready to put fabric on. Fast and easy. Now what we're going to get into is what's called the side load here. So uh, some people in the past have wrapped wood frames or used glue. This method here allows you, there's a profile, a, a classic half inch profile that's on both the back and one on the top here. So there's a double double profile in this expander here, making it fast and easy here. Once you've got the strip of, uh, got about a four inch to six inch wide strip of fabric panel that you would be doing in the front, but you're doing it from the side. So here he's just gonna go around, tack the panel in, and use the uh, four in one tool here. So here again, uh, he's gonna be going ahead and just tacking it in seating it on here, making sure that he's got the enough fabric. And you will see he brings these around to the side where he left that space out earlier. We've gapped it a little bit with about a 16th of an inch gap. And this is where you'll see when this is finished, the excess fabric will be tucked into that little gap there. So now the process, we'll go ahead and let him uh, run with this. He's gonna go ahead and uh, do what you would normally do on a panel, which is gonna be seating it, and then coming back and tucking it all the way around. So we'll go ahead and uh, let you just sit back and take a look at this. Now you're seeing it loaded into the top load. So he's already rolled it in the back there on the side load, making his way around and he took the uh, rolling tool and seated it in the front, 
Uh, at first, uh, it might seem a little awkward, but once you've done this a few times, it becomes uh, second nature. Some people will accent it. They'll do maybe a, a softer color on the front load, front front face fabric, and then they'll do a bold color or even a print on the side there. So you can really get real creative uh, with this double side load two inch fabric installed from the top or the back. So go ahead and uh, keep an eye on here and you'll see the, uh, the magic occur and how easy it is to finish off uh, the sides here of the side load double side profile. It's always recommended to do a little sample panel first or go ahead and sample a smaller area of your project to make sure that you're comfortable uh, with the finished product. Uh, we always highly recommend that. So in other words, I would not lay a lot of the MaxLine product up on the wall and wait till the, pro the product is installed completely before trying the fabric. So walk through that project. If you have a smaller panel area, go ahead and finish that off. Work out the bugs on a small scale before you get uh, going too large and then scale up from there. Okay, it will save you a lot of time and mistakes in the long run. Make sure you're wearing the safety glasses. So now you're seeing the corner start to be finished off with a four in one tool here, getting a nice definition all the way around. Still have a little bit of excess fabric to cut off in the back, but what you're doing here is making the fabric defined in on the side all the way around. The face fabric will be easy to complete the panel off after this part of it's done here. So you're going to take your time again, use the four in one, get them in the corners here. Again, after you've done this a few times, it becomes a uh, second nature. Here he's going to use that rolling tool and just suck it on in. You're going to get a real, real nice bead look on the front here with this profile. So now you're going to see him work over here on the side. Remember, we left that gap between the two pieces. So this is where you're going to go ahead and finish this off. When you do have a panel that you can have a strip long enough to take it completely around. If there's occasion when you can't make it, uh, say, a larger panel, then you're going to just want to go ahead and open up one of the other corners there, leave a gap in one of the other corners. So any of these corners can be gapped open by the 16th of an inch which will allow you to stuff the excess fabric inside of there with a four and one tool. So you're gonna watch him here, just go ahead and uh, trim this down. And so again, you're gonna go ahead and take your time here and you're gonna stuff the excess fabric into the channel there, the little gap. So he's using the rocker here to kind of open it up a little bit. You can use a four and one as well, just to give you a little bit of space to tuck this up in here going to give you a nice clean corner on the bottom corner there. Another method that's used often, people will take these profiles before they're actually put on the wall, they will insert the fabric on the back side and on the top, completely lining the, the edge of the profile. Sometimes they'll back it up with trim tack, a little adhesive there, and they'll have it sprayed all the way on so that the fabric uh, is actually on the side load before the profile goes on there. We'll go ahead and show that in another video. That's a methodology that some uh, like to do. They're actually installing this strip on the five-foot stick before they put it on the wall. Now we're going to go ahead and break the scissors out. Now that he knows he has it, the fabric defined within the track here, we're going to go ahead and trim off the excess. In a minute, you'll go ahead and see that excess rolled and tucked into the hidden channel. So you can either use the rocker here. It's going to take a little bit of time here. That's that corner where he left a little gap little 16th gap you can see from the front there on the bottom right side compared to the other corners. Again, take your time here. You just want to uh, kind of poke that in there, get those little frays in there, and you're going to get a nice finished corner there. We'll go ahead and make sure we get a shot of that afterwards. Place that in there for you to see how nice and clean it is. Again, this is uh, only needed if you're uh, wrapping the side. If these were uh, going up against the wall or ceiling, you would be using the top load, which was over uh, st installed in a previous segment over on the left there, fabric installed from the top front load. So straight and fast and easy. You're going to do freestanding panels, again, in a restaurant, home theater, church maybe. You want to see the side there, big 5 by 16 panels or nice robust panels. You're going to see the side edge. You want to wrap them either in the same color or something that's accenting it or with a print. Then this would be the preferred double side load 2 inch. 
Once you've completed that corner there, then you're going to go ahead and work your way around. The other three corners aren't going to need this because it's continuous wraparound. You're going to go back and start working in and finishing off the back part of the side load there. And using the scissors to trim out excess fabric when it's in the way. So you take your time in here. And again, once you get the side wrap, the base piece of fabric is going to be a piece of cake going on the front. Okay, here he's going to use the five in one tool. It could be a putty knife. Um, four in one uh, is there, but it may not be handy for some, some of you out there. So there you're seeing a nice finished completed corner. And you're going to start working your way around then. You're going to take the tool from the side and you're rolling this into the classic line. The same profile is actually on the front there. This is a double side load. You see now you're starting to see that nice welted bead look on the front. Real nice clean look when you get the front face fabric on. Um, especially nice accent if you use a different color or some kind of a print there. And again, where you feel necessary, go ahead and cut off the excess. If you want to cut the relief, you're going to try it again at your... Uh, on your own as a DIY contractor or whatever application, it's highly recommended to do a small sample panel. Or if you're doing your larger project, go ahead and take one of the smaller areas and finish off a panel complete with the fabric so that you've understood the technique. And go ahead and scale up from there. So again, a roller tool here, available at fabricmate.com, nice and clean. Uh, you can see it's going up against the drywall here. This is just a demonstration panel, so it's not as... Uh, Important, but uh, here's where you've seen in other segments where we have the wall protector. Maybe you can use a piece of Formica, a piece of cardboard if you don't have anything else. Uh, vertical blind, put that between the tool and the wall or the ceiling, and that's going to help protect it. You don't want to do this nice fabric finish panel and have a big scuff or a big tear in the wall behind it. If you can avoid that. So you can see it's starting to take shape here with the side load. He's doing the same method on the back. There's a nice hidden channel there, so the fabric's going to disappear nicely in there. You can either use the rocker or the roller. Sometimes you may get a little bulged up fabric in there. So from time to time, you may also need to use a small hammer here. This 4-in-1 uh, is actually designed with a spot on it there for this. Sometimes there's a little bit of bulged up fabric in there, and you might need to tap it a little bit. You maybe use a, something else, but a small little hammer will work properly, and once you get it past the little bulge there, then you go ahead and use the roller again, or the rocker. And you can see, starting to take shape, nice, clean, well beaded look from the front there. It gives it a real nice professional look when it's completely finished. That's and easy, again, you have a long wall, this is going to be very quick. Taking your time again to protect the wall there, you can see that fabric sucking in there nicely. So that's taking a nice look with this light green fabric. This is one of our lines motif. Very popular crepe fabric out there. So again, we offer many fabrics out there to choose from at fabricmade.com. We have some wide span fabrics, printable graphics, high quality, and it'll give you the uh, years of enjoyment here in your uh, application, whether it's your residential, commercial, or the education field. So again, it's going back around one last time, just checking it to make sure there's no uh, loose areas, no thread still hanging out. And uh, we'll get a couple close-ups for you later, but again, a nice finished fabric edge on here. So now he's going to get ready to place the face on. This is where the uh, finished panel starts taking real good shape and gets completed. Gives it a nice defined edge. Again, you can use the same colors, or a lot of people will alternate using a different bolder color, or even a print on the side there, or vice versa, a print on the face and then a solid on the side. So here we're taking out the 4-in-1 again. We're going to go ahead and tuck the corners in. Again, what you're doing here is you're going ahead and looking at the panel, making sure that the weave, if it has a weave on it, is proper orientation. You don't have any flaws. There's no soiling on it. This is your chance, again, when you have a big wall going on somewhere, you want to stand back and take a look at it. And here you're going to go ahead and he's breaking out the roller tool here. He's going to do a little soft seating. This is, again, a small panel, so he's just going across it. On large panels, as always, we recommend from the middle out. That way, if you have any walking, there's any puckers, you can roll those out towards the edge. So again, middle out, middle out. Again, a small demo panel here, but you imagine a 30-foot wall. If you start from the middle and walk out, you may walk it uh, a little bit, and the pucker will be at the corner there. You don't want to come from the corners and work in. Um, that could be a disaster. You'll end up with a pucker in the middle and nowhere for that excess to go. So now he has it to see... 
And now he's going to go ahead and uh, make sure that the corners are tucked in with the four and one before he breaks out the uh, scissors too much. And he's going to go ahead then and make sure, again, you want to be sure that the fabric is fully seated in there before you break the scissors out. It's going to start taking the nice finished look here real soon. Then you can go ahead and trim them off. Some people prefer to do the corners first. Others will go ahead and roll them in. It's really personal preference there. We do recommend normally getting the corners in completely. Those are the areas that might be a little trickier. You might have trouble with, and you may need to move the fabric panel around. And that's why we uh, always recommend, as you've seen in other videos, to take your time, leave that little insurance flap there on the side. If you need to pull it back out, you can pull it out and reposition the panel or go ahead and move it around a little bit. So it's really about your comfort level. And when you become more skilled with this, uh, you'll decide what works best for you. So here he's going to finish off the corner. He'll complete this all the way around. It's going to start taking nice finished shape. Again, you can see how nice the addition of these panels would be to your church, to your restaurant, home theater, big office areas, entranceways, lobbies, lecture halls, when you're going to have that robust thickness, getting that uh, sound deadening that you need, as well as the aesthetics there. So, And the changeability. Down the road, if this panel needs to be changed for any reason, decor change, or say there's soiling, it's just going to be simply peeling the fabric back off and reusing that framework over and over again. So here you're going to see the magic again. It's uh, going into the fabric made fabric mounting frame, a classic line, which is in the Max Line Expander here, two inch double side load, coming to completion. A real nice welted look. That's what it's called oftentimes out there. Nice finished seam. Again, going down those long walls. This uh, DIY roller tool here really makes the uh, makes it pretty effortless. So there you have it. It's probably going to go around with the four and one again. And just want to take a look. And if there's any little straggler strings, anything in there, make sure that everything looks just right. Again, and we didn't touch on it on this one, but in, any, in many other fabric installation videos, it's always appropriate to wipe your hands off. Keep some little wipes around. Wipe them off. Your hands build up a little grease oils naturally. Um, stuff from the tools and just working environment. So you don't want to leave uh, the project and have uh, fingerprints on there. So go ahead and wash your hands from time to time. Now there you have it, fabric finish, two inch max line, double side load there again, um, completed in no time at all. So uh, we hope you enjoyed what you saw here. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, subscribe button, button at the bottom there. Go ahead and hit that and uh, you'll be sure to get all the new videos. And as always, we thank you for joining us today. See you next time.